All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today we're in Tableau, going to do a quadrant analysis of uh, field goal percentage versus wins uh, for NBA teams during the 2016-2017 season, right? So let's just get right into this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find field goal percentage. I'm going to bring that up to columns and then I'm going to find wins and bring that to rows. Got to go to analysis and uncheck aggregate measures. We're going to uncheck that. And so I can see that there is some relationship between field goal percentage and wins. I'm going to give you this for free here. We're going to bring a trend line in here um, and uh, drag that over to linear. And I can see here that, you know, not to scare you with uh, too much statistics here, but my R squared value of uh, 0.44 uh, it's pretty good for it's not horrible for uh, for one uh, for one value um, think of r squared uh, as a measurement for the strength of a relationship and I know that it's statistically significant because my p-value is uh, what's that one hundredth of a percent so what that's telling me is um, there's a one hundredth of a percent chance that I falsely conclude that there is no relationship between field goal percentage and winning. So in English, what does that mean? Uh, the probability of there not being a relationship between field goal percentage and winning is very low, right? So I can just kind of look at this and see that there is a, uh, you know, just a little bit of a relationship here. So again, you get that free kind of regression explanation uh, for free. Um, going to go back here. I'm going to find team and throw that on the label. Uh, my values are very scrunched up, bunched up here, and uh, you know that's not the best uh, format for uh, for a quadrant analysis. But I can defeat that <laughs> by going in here and changing these uh, to uh, percentile. So if I go to wins, change that to uh, percentile, and come back in here and edit that table uh, calculation, and make sure my specific dimension is on team. Right, I need to do the same thing for a field goal percentage change that to percentile come back in here edit it and specific dimension and team as you can see i'm a lot more spread out right now so it makes it uh, a little easier to do that uh, that quadrant analysis now now i'm going to add a uh, a reference line and we're going to make sure that that is a constant at 0.5 same thing for percentile of wins Add that uh, reference line, make sure it's a constant at 0.5. All right, how are we looking? So now we have four quadrants, right? I'm going to change my marks here to a circle just to uh, fill that in. And the next thing I want to do is I want a calculation that's going to give me um, a different color uh, for each quadrant. So what I can do is can go back up to analysis, create a calculated field, and let's call it color calc, right? And we can say if our field goal percentage or percentile is uh, greater than equal to 0.5 and our wins percentile is also greater than or equal to 0.5, this is uh, then these values will be slotted to the uh, top right right and you know I already have this uh, pre pre calculated so I'm just gonna copy it in here but it should should make sense right um, again you're just slotting uh, your values into different buckets top right top left bottom left bottom right based upon where they fall based upon where the uh, the percentile of your field goal percentage and your percentile of uh, your wins fall right so take a look at that I'm gonna apply that or just say okay and it I have this color calc which I can throw on color and it does absolutely nothing but uh, you know wait for it if I edit sorry if I yeah edit the table calc and we change that to team there we go so now we have nice colors here uh, depending upon which quadrant I am in I'm gonna change my colors real quick if we are in the um, uh, the top right, I want to make that red, I want to make this orange, bottom right, we're going to make that blue, and then bottom left, gray, supply that, 
All right, great. Let's hide this card and spread this out entire view. All right, so now let's play with the size a little bit, make these a little bigger. All right, um, you know what you can see, and, and I can annotate this. Let's let's do that first. Uh, let's annotate our area. And the first area I want to annotate is the top right. We're going to call those shooters and winners, right? So I'll make that bold, 12. And I like Franklin, Franklin Gothic medium. Say OK. These are shooters and winners. I want to format and take the shading away. Expand that out, All right? And I can move that up here. These are our shooters and winners, right? They can shoot and they win, which makes sense, right? So if I go back here and annotate again, annotate the area, uh, my second quadrant, we're going to call these bricks, bricks and winners, right? 12, Franklin. And make sure that I that I bold this. Uh, let's bold that, and make sure our shading is none. Expand that out, and drag it up here. These are bricks. They don't shoot very well, but somehow they still win. Annotate the area. Uh, we're gonna do the the bottom left right now. So these are bricks and losers. Which makes sense. If you're bricking everything, um, you're probably going to lose. Uh, I hate that my Lakers are uh, in this quadrant, but uh, you know it is what it is. Let's drag this over here. Oh, there we go. And our last quadrant to annotate. These are going to be. They can shoot, but they don't win. These are shooters and losers. That bold 12. All right, these are the shooters and losers. Let's get rid of that shading and drag this out a little bit. All right. There you go, it gets the point across. You can make it as artistic as you like, but this gets the point across. I'm going to format this. I like getting rid of a chart junk. Um, on the lines, let's get rid and make sure there's no lines here and our zero lines, none there. So now if we were to analyze this, I can, I know that the teams above 50% all made the playoffs. Um, you can tell that by the asterisk next to the team name. Uh, the only team that that doesn't apply to is the Miami Heat. They just had a tough break uh, last season. They needed the Bulls or the uh, or the Pacers to lose uh, the last game of the season, but they didn't. But, you know, even though they didn't make the playoffs, they are winners in our quadrant analysis. So shout out to the uh, Miami Heat there. Um, you would expect teams that shoot well to win, and you would expect teams that uh, throw up bricks to lose, right? Um, you kind of have these off quadrants here where you need a little bit more explanation, right? So we have shooters and losers like, okay, they shoot very well, but why are they losing? So if I were to look at the uh, the statistics for uh, defensive rating team, defensive ratings, uh, the Kings, the Timberwolves, and the Nuggets, uh, they are down at the bottom. They don't stop anyone uh, from, from scoring um, for the most part. Uh, opposite for my bricks and winners, Memphis Grizzlies, not a very good field goal percentage team, but they are an excellent defense of squad so that is how they win right defense defense wins as well so uh, this is a uh, nice little uh, quadrant uh, analysis here that uh, that you can perform you can even do it with superstore data uh, so hope you like this tip uh, you know hope you learned something uh, take this information get out there do some great things with your data thanks for watching everyone